everybody, it's Angendra. I decided to try looking down on games. <laughs> I don't know why. I just moved my webcam around to give you guys like the spice of life. Um, Stardew Valley just went online. I don't have enough characters for that. Stardew Valley just went online and I'm like waffling on whether or not I want to cover that beta. Because it's like... It gets a lot of hype for some reason. Stardew Valley is this like cult addiction for male gamers and it is so funny to gamer chicks that I kind of want to go on and cover the beta and just like see but I don't feel like I would get so much interaction that like anybody would get it besides like a handful of people so um is it really worth twitting my these people's noses? So, okay, so we're just and because that's all that fits in. So anyway, Stardew Valley went online. It's in beta for being online. Um, and then I got an email from Big Fish um, that they have a new one coming out, Meadow Story. So I was like, I'll just do this one instead. Um, I'm not really sure I want to drop the money um, for something that I'm basically just going to beta. So let's check out a real actual beta. Relaxed mode. There's enough time. We'll, we'll do relaxed. I so clearly rolled out of bed. We're doing it. Okay, so what do we have here? It's ranged by boards. It's kind of cool. Level one Vagabond. Let's see what the story is. The trouble has come without warning. An old long extinguished volcano revived and its fiery eruption has destroyed the once great city of hardworking halflings. Sweet! Are there gonna be like orcs and orogs pouring out? I'm excited. <gasps> I skipped the story. Okay, so we have to save the halflings. This place looks perfect to start a new settlement and these berry bushes remind me that we've run out of food and had almost no breakfast today. With all respect, I advise we make camp here and have a snack. Okay, so we're refugees. A volcano exploded. We don't know whether or not there's orcs and orogs yet, but I'm excited. Build houses. Got it. That was like Warcraft, which also went online and it was boss. Wood is very important resource. Click on it to send a worker to collect it. Oh, so we just have wood like lying around here. I'm stoked. What's this? That looks like a an important resource. So my workers have houses. We have to harvest some berries. Can I click on the rocks? No, not enough resources. So apparently I need food. We just have Randall, like God is sending bags of gold to us. Here little halflings, we feel pretty bad for you. Have some. Seriously, like, look. Maybe there's some fae that I don't know about that's doing this. I only have so many peasants, apparently. I'm kind of used to the interface where I, like, click and things happen. Usually you do select um, who does what. Apparently there's an AI that's doing this for me. Which is kind of nice. I, I found the interface frustrating in the original Warcrafts where I would have this peasant like running around all over the place because I didn't click right. Thanks for the gold, God! It's not normally the way it works with the church. I mean, they're so there to help you if you need it. I'm not hating. Bellissimo! Bellissimo. Yeah, Bellissimo. I haven't eaten such wonderful berries in a long time. I have to note that you look better after dinner and rest too. Let's move further. Village elder said so. <clears throat> Wait, am I in the other mayor or is he? Do I not get any stars? I want a star. You guys are feeling me, right? You like get stars for accomplishments. You can't just not star me. Set priorities. Sometimes a reasonably gift of building wins more. Time to think about the restoration of the treasury. The main source of income is taxes paid by the citizens. Here's the problem. Due to the law, only those who own houses pay, pay taxes. I advise to build houses for the halflings and start collecting taxes. That's where the bags of gold are coming from. 
Mr. Advisor, we need wood to build houses. The wood we took with us is almost out. Sure, I think we should send out our lumberjacks to get wood. The builders can start construction in the meantime. Okay, so. It is not, in fact, God. It is the peasants who are providing us with resources. Okay, so we're flagging these. Oh, so they upgraded the flags. Okay, well, that's handy. Okay, you apparently cannot flag projects. But you can flag resources for collection. So one peasant per project, yo. I see you there. You're not doing anything. All you want to do is collect taxes. Buddy, there's work to do. I'm sorry, honey. Don't nobody want to work, work, work. But you got to do the work, work, work. What are your friends going to think of you if you don't do this? Not enough resources. What am I missing for resources? Is it gold? It's probably gold. Sorry, Johan. You're an important addition to the community. Requires 50 wood and... A certain amount of whatever that is. Looks like cheese rinds to me. Is anyone else seeing cheese rinds? Maybe I should look at the icons, right? Johan, the peasants somehow have more tax. Oh, it does. Okay. So it needs a certain amount of food. Okay. Oh, ugh. I apparently can derelict my own buildings here. What do I have for this? Is this enough? Oh, okay, good. We can start construction. Ooh, that was a near thing. The mayor almost had to, like, come out and coach me. You know when your boss coaches you and you spend the next month hearing about it from the crew? Not overtly, but they know. I'm a social person. I'm a chick. I don't miss these things. All right. Berry bushes. Do we have enough wood? There's enough dudes around. There is wood help. It's my wood joke. They would be doing it, but. Where are we on this? I feel like I have enough resources and you can just, I like that we have a chick builder. Like, let's be equal opportunity. Double your workforce. Use your women. They too can build things. In fact, the largest obstacle is generally men. They have this system and it's really hard to get a hold of. It involves a lot of like taking breaks exactly when you're supposed to and not like overworking or else they have to. Very strange. I tend to view things like working in a warehouse as like free gym time and that gets me in trouble. But apparently the upper class does not work in warehouses very often. We do not speak a the lingo. Tried. Tried. All right, so basically all I'm seeing here is a bunch of peasants and some houses. Come here, peasant. Work on a house. No clue I didn't get promoted. No clue. Wonderful. I feel our treasury filling with sound coins. And of course, as opposed to unsound coins, our money is mad. We are England and France in the late 1800s. And of course our citizens have places to rest after hard labor. Well, that's exciting. There's only so much you can do with pup tents. <laughs> hmm, still no stars. I wanna file a complaint about the stars. Like you should put the stars in first. And it just, it mocked me about the stars in the cutscene. It's time to expand the settlement. Let's build a bridge over the river. Bridge construction is a difficult task. We'll need a lot of wood. Hard labor is a straight way to intense appetite. Plow the fields and grow food. Soil is fertile here. We won't have to wait long for the harvest. Note to the cobbler, if we supply, uh, supply our workers with strong boots, they'll work faster. Does anybody else feel like this guy is demanding? Because I feel like he's demanding. Um, till the fields, build the bridge, build the cobbler a house. What is this? 
town hall. I already have a town hall. Don't I? Do I not have a town hall? That is nuts. Throw in some peasants. Need a little bit more food. I can't get to the bridge yet, honey. Go, you know what? Go complain to the mayor. I don't know what to tell you. What do you mean I need more, more food? Did I dead end myself? That would be unfortunate. Are there any berry bushes that I can like cut up? Not enough resources. I'm not like, I'm not seeing this. Not enough resources, not enough resources, not enough peasants? Is that what that is? We need more peasants. Not enough resources. Where do I get that from? Oh, it's gold. We have to pay our workers? I thought they were serfs. Shows what I know. Okay, so we need more peasant houses. This is the short version of that. Oh lordy. You know, I bet the Windsors don't have to go through this. They probably just point. The heck. Carry my hat box, peasant. I want money for this stuff. Your contribution to your country is your reward. I want you to know that. I, th I feel like I have all the food. Possibly all the resources. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Okay. Johan, I am suddenly more grateful to you than now. More grateful now than ever. Ooh, and we can build a little getaway. Look, it's a worker's house. Let's have one of those. The way is blocked. You know his way is about to be blocked. All right, little Miss Muffet, get your button gear. What am I missing on? Am I missing on food? Like, what is it? Help me help you. Speed boost is active. Is Johan speed boosting? Speed boost me those taxes, buddy. Help his sister out. Not enough resources. This is harder than it looks, friends. And it's a small village. Like, I'll never make it as a Viscount. Not happening for me. Nope, don't, don't, don't go anywhere. You just went somewhere. I do, I do have enough resources, honey. It's a thing. Alright. I feel like we now have enough to build this. No. Yes. Not enough resources. And then we'll have that dude. Oh, chick, excuse me. That chick do that, and then we should be able to do this. And I think that completes it. I think it's like I said, like with, um, what on earth is that? With, um, my brain wants Warcraft, where you build all the certain amount of, you know, like certain amount of huts or whatever, and then you're done. At least that's how it starts out. Okay, I have like literally no more obligations to this town. So I'm not quite sure what my ob objective is here. What's my objective, sir? Can I click on you? No. Can pause things, I can speed boost, we can harvest crops. 
can collect taxes. I mean, I'm like rolling in dough here, but I still don't know what it is that I have to do. Oh, okay, that's it. Here we go. We built a strong bridge and can cross the river looking for a fertile valley. By the way, everyone likes the new boots and we'll definitely use them in the future. That's exciting. I'm excited. We got shoes and money. Like what else, what else can you want, right? Still no stars. I like my faux rewards. Set priorities, sometimes they're reasonably. There's time to work and time to rest. I believe the rest has, time has come with all respect. I suggest we announce it's time to rest, of course, dinner. I'm sure you happier people work much better. Best way to make halflings happy is to build a tavern where they can gather after work and spend time relaxing with foods and drinks. Let's build it and celebrate our achievements. Okay, so here's my take so far on this. I love the premise. I like the fact that they're using like little fairy tale stories to um, let me do the Farmville thing. I don't like it as much as Royal Story. I felt like that was more exciting. Um, it's a lot more Farmville, but here is the problem. They keep making me start over in order to do a build. And I like to have a healthy foundation to build on. So, so far I am not loving this game. As far as complaints go to the developer, um, they make you restart every time. In a tutorial generally you do get to build. I understand that they're migrating and that's interesting, but there's no story interaction to link the pieces that you're getting um, together into one coherent whole where I would say that it's got like a plot line. Like the plot line is given up front and then it's left. Um, as far as um, the jobs that they do, um, the interface for Big Fish is set up deliberately so that you can use it on your phone. So that's, you know, like that I totally, totally get. So um, that's, it's appy, but it's supposed to be. Um, I don't feel a connection with any of the characters and I don't feel a connection with the storyline as far as like, I don't feel like I'm progressing a storyline. So since, you have to rebuild every single time. I think that you need to fill that in with some sort of emotional investment in the game, which would require a storyline. So that's my critique so far of this beta. Um, that's where I think that people are going to land with it. It's a good time suck if you're using it on a phone, but you kind of need some sort of connecting pieces or else people aren't going to go back to it and regularly engage. And that's what gets you the positive feedback that people keep buying your games. So I'm Anjindra. Um, People know me as Queen Aliaram, the daughter of Akatosh from, yeah, that Akatosh. Um, I do all sorts of betas, what hot, what's hot, what's not, why with game place and interface so that you know what to look for in games that you'll grow to love. Um, and we also have everything that's new, anything that we found that's a gem. So drop us a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for coming along with us. And as always, much love.